little new angel. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jasmine. This is my official moving vlog. I'm moving house this week. My partner and I have been in this place for the past three years and we're having a little change of scenery and packing up our little life here on the beach on the Gold Coast. We're still staying on the Gold Coast, which is quite nice, but I thought I'd take you guys along with me for that. So today's Tuesday and we move out on Thursday. I have all of today to just dedicate to packing and we have a storage container coming tomorrow to put all of our stuff in and then we're officially moving out on Thursday. It's the middle of Australian summer right now and it's so hot. I have zero motivation to be doing this, but I mean, who really feels like ever packing? It's not the most fun part in the world. I enjoy unpacking a home so much more. But we're gonna get started down here. We're gonna get started doing the kitchen, I think. I picked up these boxes from Cole's Bakery because I used to work in a bakery when I was at uni and I used these to move last time and they literally worked so great and they're free. If you just go and ask them if they could hold a few boxes for you, they do. So that's what I'm using. I went and picked up 20 the other day. They're all definitely enjoying having the boxes laying around. <laughs> holy it's hot the humidity is crazy today i've just been doing the kitchen and compiling things into what we're keeping and then what we're donating because it's going to be a bunch of things that we end up doing that we've had since we've sorry that's that's Liam upstairs stuff that we've had since we were in brizzy stuff that i had when i was in a share house when i was at university which was in 2017 so it's definitely time to cull a few more things and yeah that's just what I'm doing up there right now before I put things into the boxes behind me. My lashes are currently holding on for dear life as well. It's probably good that they're quite old right now because I feel like I probably sweat them off if that's a thing. But I think I have a lash appointment tomorrow. I haven't got the confirmation text yet. I couldn't remember what day I booked them for and I booked this like a month ago when I had my lashes done last. So I'm just waiting for the text to see what day it's on. But that's beside the point. I'm rambling and I need to go tackle rest of the stuff in the kitchen. That's what I'm keeping from the kitchen, which may look like a lot, but I honestly expected so much more. So I'm just gonna go and pop these onto the boxes now. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm donating as well. So I'm probably gonna go take that to the op shop today before they close so that I can get that out of my car. right now and I'm just heading to the op shops to go donate a bunch of stuff I've just spent the entire day packing basically all of downstairs and yeah I'm taking a bunch of stuff to the op shop and then I'm running to get something frozen for dinner because I don't obviously want to buy groceries and stuff when we're cleaning out the fridge tomorrow but I still wanted to get something just quick and easy that I can put in the oven or the microwave for dinner tonight that's what we're doing it's so incredibly hot I had to have another shower today my second shower already because I just felt so sweaty and gross, but that's completely fine. I've just got some cordial in here, which makes my drinks yummy. I will probably come home and just finish up the rest of the downstairs area. Like the laundry needs to be done. And yeah, that's probably it actually. And then I'll go upstairs and tackle that as well. But work tomorrow. And we've got this taxi box thing that's coming. It's called a taxi box, but it's just basically a big storage container that they come and drop off to your house. You fill it and then they go and store it until you're ready for your stuff to be moved. It's kind of like when you can't get a lease extension, which is what we couldn't do, unfortunately. This works out really well. So that's what we're kind of doing in terms of our moving plans. It'll be just after one when I get home tomorrow. So we have the rest of tomorrow afternoon to fill it. And then we're staying here tomorrow night and filling the rest of the stuff Thursday. And then we're out. I can't believe it's all just happening so quickly, but also it... We knew about it for weeks, but then it just really hit us this week. We're like, oh, we're moving. But let me push this back forward and go to the up shop. And it's five o'clock and I just
just got home not long ago from work and I had a lash appointment. I ended up having my lash appointment today, so that means that I only just got home. But we have to go pack all of this into our little storage cube thing. And I actually think it's a bit of a blessing at this time of day because it's been so hot and sticky today and now the sun's going down, it's a little bit better. But we have all this. This is just downstairs. And then we still, as you can see, still have all this in here. And we ended up not selling our couch, so that's going to try fit in the storage container as well. We'll book it all into the kitty cat sleepover tomorrow so that our bond cleaners can come because he can't be here for that. Are you okay? <laughs> but now Lee and I are just about to go pack these up and probably move the big things first actually before we put all the little boxes and stuff in. And recoil. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really guys it's 7 30 on thursday morning and lee and i have just packed up our car at the petrol station right now and we got the little marcher we're just heading to his parents place to go drop off all of our stuff and then i'm heading to work and we'll be doing some more stuff this afternoon everything in and I'll give you guys a quick little tour while it's kind of empty. This is one of the bathrooms. Got a cute little mirror here. In the kitchen which I love. This will be my study nook. Well not study but just office. The lounge room. This is Lee's office. We've got a little veranda as well. I'm trying to make this quick because the boys are just about to come back and it will be Full of stuff. This is going to be our little bedroom, and you walk in, and we've got a little walk in wardrobe situation, and then the bathroom. And we have a bathtub. I'm so excited to have a bathtub. I'm <laughs> gonna get some cute little lush bath bombs and stuff. And our shower. This is my first time ever seeing it today as well, and I love it. I like this situation, this is a bit fancy. Ooh. Hello from my new bathroom. How exciting is that to say? I have a little walk-in wardrobe as well, which I've always wanted, but hello guys. I realized that I never actually explained what was happening. So today is Tuesday, which is our move-in day, but we moved out of Liam's parents' place, or into their place, I should say, on Thursday. So I think that's the last time that we chatted because there wasn't really a whole lot going on, but we're just moving all our stuff in today. Which is exciting. We've got aircon, which is so nice because we're moving everything out with no aircon, but moving into a place with aircon. I know that sounds super privileged, but just in the middle of Australian summer, I must admit I'm very, very grateful for that because, yeah, I've never really had a place with aircon before. But it's about 11 o'clock right now. Liam's brother has been here and they've been helping us move our stuff. I think my cousin might be coming over as well after work. But I wanted to show you guys we got this thing called a taxi box, and that's what we put all of our stuff into and it was such a good way for us to move our stuff so I'm gonna go downstairs and show you. This is what we used to move, it's called a taxi box and we just filled all our stuff in here. Probably like 85% of our stuff fit in this thing and then we've just been unpacking it and carting it up but I'm gonna take our bedside table and things up now with me but I want to show you guys that because it was really cool and super helpful. do a quick trip to the shops because I want to get firstly a snack I'm starving it's 12 o'clock right now it's like actually exactly 12 o'clock 
and I want to go get some lunch and then also want to go to Kmart and get some little bits and pieces like new storage boxes because the ones I have right now are broken I've had them for three years they were just cheap Kmart ones to begin with but we broke them quite early on I'm gonna go get some little stuff like that oh, that's my Apple watch thank you guys along with me for that I don't want to be too long and I won't be getting things in terms of design because this is just kind of a practical little bits and bobs we need because we have so much storage in this apartment going from our tiny little place before which was originally a motel and it had no storage oh that's not even his brother and and now we have so much storage so it's very exciting but I'm gonna go get that and I'll check in with you guys once I'm at the shops I know I said I was going to get anything for decoration, but I really like these and they're waffle. I just don't know whether to wait and see what the place looks like after or to get them now so we do need details. Hmm. And they're nice and thick as well. These are very thin, but I like that pink. The tea towels actually is on my list, so I'm not strain, but I want to get storage boxes, bin bags, and a bin actually. And washing tablets. Are you ready to come out and see your new home? This is the wrong side. I hope it's not from here actually. <coughs> this is Theodore's first ever time looking at everything. He might want to take his time, I'm not sure. Where are we? This is all new Angel. <laughs> oh, everything is in shambles. <laughs> what is it? There's a lot happening, isn't there? There's a lot happening. It's okay. Come on, darling, come explore. We've got a little veranda. so curious. Can you hear the birdies? Oh, he's not too sure. It's okay. It's all okay, isn't it? He's looking for little nooks. <laughs> it's a couple of hours later. We've made some progress. Oh, I went and picked up this dining room table, which will actually go in here somewhere but for now it's out there it's really nice I got it off Facebook marketplace but it's originally from Temple and Webster and then what else have we done babe Lee's put the TV together yeah just couch around put the table and chairs he said that <laughs> moved everything in I moved everything I love the lights down here I think that was really cool so I can't wait to get something happening there I've been also cooking Lee in a pizza Slaving away at this for so long. Do you want to watch something? Yeah, I'd love to. I've been unpacking in here very slowly. We, I organized these before we left, so they can that can just be shut. And then I got some of those liners to put into the drawers, so I've started doing that. And there's just so many random little things that had to be done. We've got some glasses up here, and. Yeah, and then my dinner's ready, so we're gonna watch something now. And we don't have any, we don't have any plates, so Lee's using the cardboard box, but that works. Easy. I'll be eating my lasagna. Ooh, oopsie, I'm out of a bowl though. We've got bowls. Everything's pretty messy, and we still have a bit more work to do tonight. It's about uh, maybe 7:30. 7:58. Oh, it's eight o'clock. Okay, cool. I'll check in with you guys later. I've got about 10 minutes to do a little bit of unpacking before I have to leave for work. So we're going to tackle the skincare. And I decided to take these out of the fridge because they just fit in perfectly. Oops, that's just my moisturizer with this drawer. So they only had like no food actually touching it. But that is what we're doing now, Theodore, isn't it? We're going to attempt to do the skincare. It's many hours later now. I think it's about five o'clock. I've gone to work, come back home. Actually, I've gone to work, gone to the shops, and come back home. 
and I wanted to give you a little haul of what I picked up. I love watching Kmart and Target hauls and even though I think that they're like the same place now. Going to Kmart. Ooh. Oh. Okay, you fiddle. They're the same is all I was getting at. But firstly, let's start off with addressing the fact that there's a gazillion clothes behind me. They're yet to be organized. I picked up this laundry hamper from Target. And I thought that would just be a good size because we saw a huge laundry hamper and that would mean that we would fill the entire thing most of the time before we did the laundry. And I feel like if we have a smaller one, we will do laundry more. So that's the goal there. Grabbed this. How pretty is that? I love the fact that it's wooden on the outside, but it's pretty. Is that focusing like ceramic? I don't have the brain capacity to describe this in any more detail because I'm just so exhausted, but this is our fruit bowl. Also from Target, yeah I don't know actually, I went to Kmart and Target and I think I bought this from Target but it's the Kmart brand, vice versa. It's just a new pan, we want to invest in a really good quality pan or two but for now we just thought this will tie us over because the other one was really dodgy. Yes that's exciting. And then also I just picked up these fabric cube things, they will be used just for the space that you can see behind me because annoyingly the chest of drawers that we have don't fit in this space. That was where all of my little knickknacks were kept, but we don't have that anymore. But that's fine. Adapting. Picked up this for the shower. Hey fiddle. He wants to play. Because I thought this was a good one to um, scrub with. I don't know if I need to explain that any further. And then this is a really pretty marble silicon turner. Really? Spatula, that's the name. A spatula. And I don't think I need to describe that anymore. We've got a wooden chopping board. This is for the kitchen. How pretty is this? These are both from Kmart. I think they were $7 each. So we love that. And lastly, I've just got the shower caddy. I thought the black would be good because it wouldn't rust. Is that the word? Yeah. And it also matches our shower because it's all, it's all black in there. But that's my haul in terms of home goods. I got a lot of food, which is always fun because I'm having the girls over tomorrow night for a little Galentine's Day night. I just wanted an excuse to host really. And this was perfect. So I'm having it early. Valentine's Day isn't until next Wednesday and tomorrow's Thursday. But I want to get in early, celebrate with the girls. And yeah, I want to try and make my place look really nice too for them. Let's go put this up in the shower. I have some stories that I would like to post. Maybe a reel I need to make as well. I need to get cracking onto dinner. That's me for the rest of the evening. And also just cleaning up and trying to make this place look good for my friends tomorrow because I'm so excited to show them. And so bathroom in there. We bring the shower caddy in there and putting this stuff away. We still don't have sheets or anything because they all teared a hole in our sheets. We decided just to throw those out. The hole was huge. Wasn't it darling? Hey? It was a big hole. And we wanted to buy some nice sheets though as well. In the meantime, we're just sleeping on our protector. Good morning guys, it's 6.30 next day now and Lee and I just got up and got ourselves ready to go for a little walk. Lee wants to go try a croissant from a bakery nearby. Um, I can't really find any of my workout clothes. This is what we're wearing. Um, these are Zep pants that I actually like but just haven't worn in ages. I cannot find a sports bra anywhere. So I'm just wearing this grey <laughs> pyjama top as is. But we slept in this last night and all our cushions were down the car and we just plonked into bed and just could absolutely not be bothered to go get them. It's a very gloomy, misty day, which is actually quite cozy. Misty. I don't know why I said that word, but it's gloomy. And there was in here somewhere. It's Liam, who's getting dressed. It's Friday morning and I have the day or the morning off work today so I start in the afternoon which is nice and that means that I'm heading to the shops because I need to get a bunch of stuff still for our place we don't have a clothesline we don't have we don't have a lot of things I've written a little list on my phone of things that I have to go get one of them being oh my gosh I've already forgotten that's why I have to write it down clothesline I need to get kitty litter for Theodore I'm not buying a toaster and kettle and that stuff today but I am getting oh um hand towels and stuff for the bathroom and little soap things for the bathroom because just little things like that we need. So it's gonna be my day. It's about 10.30 right now and I've had a lovely little start to my day. I went for a walk with my friend Miles and it was just so nice. We got up early. I was trying to bring Theodore in but we got up early, went for a little beach walk, got a matcha and it was raining but it was still really nice. We had a little rain jacket on 
and oh my gosh they those got zoomies and yeah it was just a really good start to my day and I feel like I'm still on a high from that but let's go I think I'm gonna go to Rabina they've got like Adair's pillow talk and all those things I'm gonna show you what he's doing Crazy. Are you crazy? Also, I thought I'd show you guys the place once it's a little bit more together rather than showing you in bits and pieces. So once we have some more things happening, it's still definitely it's like 80 70 percent there. And once we have the other little final bits and pieces, I'll show you guys around more because right now it looks like it might be together, like I've got my wardrobe and stuff happening, but but there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to be done. Alrighties guys, I've just gotten back from the shop, so I'm going to give you a quick little haul of what I picked up. I love homewares shopping. I started off at Pillow Talk and I grabbed these two. This one's a quilt set and this one's a sheet set. And I really like this. I've never had any sheets like this before that are stripy or anything. I've always just had plain sheets. Or oh, I've had a gingham set once a couple of years ago that... Theodore! That was just from Target, I think. But this is a really nice quality. So I'm super excited for that. And this is the Duna cover set. They had these on display and it really sold me i thought it looked so lovely and then i think that's everything from pillow talks sorry about my sink these two towels hand towels are just from kmart but they're so soft and fluffy let me move you over here they're really really lovely pegs that's a bit boring isn't it we've got a new vase because the white one i have is a little bit too awkward for flowers and miles got me some really nice flowers yesterday that i want to put in here and then this is a fabric Draw organizers for my cupboard. I grabbed two the other day that were just big cubes, but I thought these would be a good size as well. This is a dustpan. I I quite enjoy how it's got this side of it because this morning I spilled one of my wine glasses and this would be perfect to clean that up with. And then I just grabbed two more of these. This one's for our bathroom. I've got that one over there too. I didn't grab the tray thing because I wasn't sure if we needed it for the bathroom. This can be for our toothpaste and stuff and toothbrush. This is just a squeegee for the shower. This is our new clothes hanger. I liked the black. I thought that was different and I like that it stands up high but isn't super long. So it's from Kmart as well. And then also we got this really cool rug from Kmart. I'm very excited to put that down. That'll be down here. So I know that everything's looking quite neutral and beige at the moment, but we're going to be adding a pop of color through plants, through artwork and everything. We're just kind of getting the basics done. I know I said I would show you all at the end, but it's kind of exciting to show you as I'm doing it as well. Isn't it theater? Oh, thank you. I love the rug, I feel like it really ties together space. And then I added the little flowers that Miles got me yesterday into the new vase. Do you approve of the matte theatre? I think you do. I think you do approve. Oh. Well, we know it's good. We need a test, we're just looking at toasters and kettles. I think you're getting this one. Liam's family have this as well, and we know it's good. I like that one. Yeah, I love that coffee machine. That's probably my dream one. That does the milk and stuff as well. Yeah, that's 
Hello friends, it's been a little while since I've picked up my camera and my place has come together a whole lot more. I know I said I wasn't going to show you guys until everything was done, but it's actually going to be a little while I realized until we're able to fill it out with the furniture that would really like. I don't want to rush that process. But I'm just going to give you guys a little preview, not preview, but a little run through our place in this vlog. And then eventually, you know, once it's all finished, I can show you again or I'm sure you'll even notice when we've got little bits and pieces like a bed frame and artwork and plants and all that stuff also how cute are these pajamas that i just got yesterday from cotton on body we have the aircon blasting in our place nice and cold and cozy and i just needed some new winter pjs so i went to the shops yesterday and picked these up and i love them i will say though they're kind of thin the fabric like it all hooked these little pour into it and pulled a bit of it yesterday looks like there as well but i guess that's what happens when you have cats uh, but yeah let's just show you guys around a little bit more <laughs> hello yeah, so this is Thiddle's favourite place to sit. We ended up putting his cat pole over here and indeed he loves to sit on the TV. But let's, maybe I'll start off with the bedrooms. Our bedroom hasn't really eventuated into much at the moment. We get some artwork up here. I did bring the white artwork, but I'm just waiting till we get a bed frame to kind of work out what we're doing here. I did, however, get some new sheets and a doona set, which you would have seen, and they washed up really nicely. I'm very, very happy with these. And same with this, our doona I had just washed, so it's over here. I need to pop that on the bed. There's really not much to report. Oh my gosh, Thiddle. <laughs> Are you serious, buddy? You're just so cute. Okay, well, I'm going to go back in here. Do you want to come with me? And then we've got my walk-in wardrobe, which has just been filled out with more clothes. It's probably not the most organized right now, but that's okay. And we've got the bathroom. I went and got this shower caddy from Kmart yesterday, actually. It was only $15 and I can't wait to have a little relaxing bath. I just turned a light on and I feel like you can see this a whole lot better, but this actually sits up and then you can rest your book or something in here, which I thought was really cool. We've got a bath mat. I picked up this one from, I think it was Pillow Talk as well. Very comfy. I've always had these towels. These were my grandparents' towels and they're very special to me because my grandfather picked them out before he passed away and he never got to use them. So I've been using them ever since. That was back in 2020 when Lee and I first moved out. They've been our main towels. These are from Kmart, these ones. So that's kind of all that's happening in here. I will organize it a bit more. I still have clothes and a chest of drawers downstairs that I have not yet brought upstairs. I did get some little fabric cubes, which helps to keep things organized, but I'm thinking I need to get some sort of drawers or something, maybe happening under here, just something to store more clothes in. But when you walk out here, this is what's happening. We have some really cool lights actually that I'll show you that go underneath here. Don't know if you can even see that right now, but at nighttime it looks really nice. And this is our dining table. I picked this up, like I said, from Facebook Marketplace. Lee's got the other chair in his office because we still haven't gone and we need to do a little Ikea run and get some chairs ourselves. But for now, that's what he's using. And that's my little office nook in here. I haven't decked that out at all yet, but I was sewing yesterday, so I've got my sewing machine in the corner. And I want to get some hanging plants, I think, to put down here and maybe some art as well, like a little frame up in the corner, I'm thinking. It's our little lounge room. I think the lighting will be better from this way, so let me show it to you from here. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think I want to, we want to get some artwork for up here, and I don't know what to do about this space. I feel like a carpet could look really cool along here, like just a long, one of those long thin carpets, and then maybe get a lamp and not keep that mirror there. But we'll just see. I found some really nice furniture on Lifely, which is where this coffee table's from. So we still need to figure all that stuff out. That's Lee's office in there. I won't show his office just because he's working in there. And then this is our kitchen. I feel like this needs some stuff happening on the benches. We're gonna get a coffee machine and stuff too. So that won't be able to go here just because there's no PowerPoint. This is our main PowerPoint over here. And that's our new toaster and kettle set. I think the coffee table, I mean the coffee machine will go here. I really enjoy the size of how big this is, especially compared to our old pantry. Our old one was literally this big, so I'm not used to all this space. But I did get these from Kmart, and it came in a 10-pack, these really nice containers, and they're BPA-free, and they were 10 for $35, which is a really good price, and they all like vacuum-sealed, is that the right word? Not vacuum-sealed, but they're airtight. Yeah, airtight. They're really cool. So I'm going to go get more of those and probably label them as well with my little label maker. That's all that's happening in there. And in here is our other bathroom and also laundry. So 
it's just a little laundry. Does the job, and this is our second bathroom, which is kind of just the old bathroom. <laughs> Slash, if guests come over, they can use this as well. But yeah, that's basically it. We've got a little vanity over here, and I just store the old stuff in here. But again, there's just so much storage everywhere, so it's really quite nice. Everything's not as organized from when I first moved in because we've been living here so that week here now. And that small amount of period that I just had the bedroom door open, Diddle just peed on the bed. He's got this fixation to certain textures. One of them is our duna cover and the other one is our sheets. And it's an absolute nightmare. Liam's dad's a vet. Even he doesn't really know what to do because cats are such little fussy creatures with their little brain as well. It's a whole thing, but... I'm gonna have to go wash the sheets, so I'm off to go do that. Naughty boy theater. And negative reinforcement doesn't work with cats. They need positive reinforcement, and it's just really hard to be in his kitty litter, positively reinforcing him every time he goes to the bathroom. So it's, I don't even know. If you have a cat that has a weird hyperfixation with your bed and loves to pee on it, it's very niche, but please tell me what you do because he's been like this the day we got him. And if we're not watching him, he will pee on the bed the first chance he gets, no matter how clean his kitty litter is, we've done, we've tried everything. Yes, anyway, I'm gonna go do that. But I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, I might just end this here. I can't wait to take you guys along with me as I continue to fill our little home. I just am so happy with it and I love it so much. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in my next video.